we're going to look at parity bits. Now parity bits are useful for helping us to identify errors that are in a sequence of bits. So we might, for example, have a sequence of seven bits. We need to know that they've been transmitted correctly across the network. So we have an additional parity bit to be able to tell us whether those bits have been corrupted or not. So let's just have a look at an example for this. So we're going to start with something called even parity to get going. So even parity. And we have a sequence of seven bits. And for even parity, we need to ensure that we have an even number of ones in our sequence, including the parity bit. So we can see here that we have one, two, three ones. So therefore, to make up an even number of ones, we need to have a one for our parity bit. If we had simply two, in this case, two ones, an even number of ones, so we have one, two, even number of ones, now our parity bit would have to be zero to ensure that we still have an even number of ones. So for odd parity, the opposite's the case. So let, let's just do this for odd parity. So if this was odd, we need to have an odd number of ones. So one, two, three. So we have the correct number of ones there. So therefore our parity bit then has to be zero. And then for our second example, for it to be odd, then this would have to be 1. So that would be for odd parity and even parity. Now it's really good to detect errors and it tells if there's an error. So for example, if one of our bits got corrupted, this 0 here for example is corrupted and it came across as a, as a 1. Now we know that this now is incorrect, this sequence of bits, because we're saying it's odd parity yet we have an even number of one. So we know that that was correct. Now the problem arises if more than one bit gets corrupted. So for example, that zero was converted to a one, but also this one, let's say, here, was corrupted and became a zero. So in this case, now for odd parity, that would tell us or we'd assume that that, that was correct because we have an odd number of ones. So it's by no means foolproof but it is a useful way of determining whether a short sequence of bits has been corrupted or not. It's really unlikely for there to be more than one bit to be corrupted in a short sequence. But what we can't do, based on parity, we can't correct an error. So if we know there's an error, so if an error has been detected, there's no way of correcting that.